What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be trying out a really spicy triple psychic team in the Great League as part of the triple same type challenge series. Uh, I've already tried out the triple water and triple dark team. The link to that playlist will be in the description below. But this team is slightly harder to use because I decided to go with a few off meta picks. I was tempted to pick Hypno, but I wanted to try out something spicy, which is why I went with Victini. Meowstic and Alolan Raichu. Now, Alolan Raichu is relatively common in the meta. Victini and Meowstic not so much. But overall, this team has pretty solid balance and coverage against a lot of the meta, right? Yes, it's going to struggle against something like an Obstagoon or an Umbreon, which has potential to probably sweep this entire team. Uh, it's going to struggle a little bit against Ghost types as well. But then again, every team has a weakness, right? But other than Ghost and Dart types, this team can handle almost everything else. And it also has decent coverage moves to hit for neutral damage against Ghosts and Dart types as well. Uh, so it's not impossible to overcome, but overall, it, it is a little difficult. But like I said, this team honestly worked really well for me. We managed to overcome some negative leads and uh, pull out some nice wins as well. So let's just get straight into these battles. Okay, moving on to the first battle here. I'm going to be leading with Victini, with Meowstic and Alolan Raichu in the back. And also I'm going to be running Grass Knot and Alolan Raichu and Energy Ball on Meowstic to provide protection against Mud Boys, which would otherwise do pretty well against this team. So we have Victini into a Galarian Stun Fist. A pretty tough matchup because they're going to be able to spam those Rock Slides here. And I'm going to shield this up because Rock Slide would come close to one-shotting a Victini. Uh, so I'm just going to try and over farm a little bit and then throw the V-Create here. So I'm just going to go for the V-Create. This is obviously super effective because of that steel typing and should probably get the shield here. So at this point, I'm going to try and switch it to my Meow Stick to catch the move. But unfortunately, we're not able to get it in time, right? So I'm going to have to shield this up, unfortunately. But the switch happens after the move comes through, right? I mean, this is kind of weird uh, glitch. I mean, I don't know if it's a glitch or it's the way it works. It's been happening a lot more in recent times where the switch happens after the charge move comes through, which is really unfortunate because I would have liked to stay in and throw another recreate. But we uh, sort of they throw the rock slide, which is fine. I'm gonna go for the shadow ball here. Does get the shield, and they're probably gonna go for another rock slide. Uh, again, Meowstic is actually pretty tanky, right? It's gonna be able to tank those moves, and uh, they're not gonna farm us down, right? We should be able to get to another move if they farm us down, but they choose not to. They're gonna go for the rock slide here. It's gonna take out my Meowstic, but it's an uphill battle here, right? Because uh, we still have no more shields and I still don't know what they have in the back. So I'm just going to cover in my Victini, go straight for the V-Create here. This is going to take out the Galarian Stun Fist from this range. And let's see what they have in the back. They have a Venusaur in the back. This is perfect. The fact that they brought in Venusaur tells me that whatever is in the back is even weaker to Victini. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it's a, it was a lag, but I think we lost CMP. I was surprised to see Victini lose CMP against Venusaur. Now it's a really uphill battle, right? So I'm going to come in with Alolan Raichu here and then go for the Wild Charge as soon as possible because they're very close to a Frenzy plant there. So Wild Charge is going to take out the Venusaur. I'm really hoping that Rodders in the back is weak to Alolan Raichu and they have a Machamp in the back. Now this is perfect. I should be able to get to a Wild Charge just in time here. And this is going to one-shot the Machamp and take the win for us there. So extremely close. Honestly, if I landed the V-Create on the... Venusaur, it would have been a lot more straightforward, but uh, luckily we were able to pull it off there. So moving into the second battle here, we have Victini into a Toxic Rogue. Fantastic matchup, right? Toxic Rogue is double weak to Psychic because of the poison fighting typing. But they make a switch into Altaria. Now this team doesn't really have a hard counter for Altaria, so I'm going to stay in, right? Because we still have Meowstic in the back, which can deal with the Toxic Rogue. And I'm going to go straight for the Psychic here. They let that go through, right? Massive neutral damage there, so I'm going to shield this up. I'm going to shield this up and try and confusion this Altaria down. So I'm just going to completely farm it down here and let's see what they have in the back. We already have a V-Create right now and they come in with Skarmory and this is fantastic. This is almost GG's at this point because we can just build up two V-Creates here. And then I'm going to go back to back. It's probably going to get both shields from the Skarmory because it's going to probably one-shot it if it goes unshielded. The first one gets the shield. I'm going to go for the next one. This is almost for sure going to get the second shield as well. And we have Alolan Raichu in the back, right? Alolan Raichu completely walls Skarmory because everything it has is resisted because of that electric typing. And it doesn't matter what this is. Uh, Sky Attack, Brave Bird, Flash Cannon, everything is resisted. They go for Flash Cannon, which is very interesting. I'm going to over farm a little bit and they make a switch into their Toxic Rogue. Immediately going to switch into my Meow Stick here and they decide to give up the match there. So we still had a shield advantage and like I said, Toxic Rogue really doesn't have too much play against this team. As long as it's lined up against either of my Meow Stick or Victini. I mean, it still has access to Mud Bomb, which should do quite a bit of super effective damage to Victini and Alolan Raichu. But for the most part, we can handle it, right? So... Uh, anyways, moving into the third battle here, we have Victini to Azumarill. This is a lost lead, right? So I'm going to actually safe switch into my Meowstic. Meowstic is actually a pretty decent safe switch option in the meta. And a lot of people don't know that female Meowstic has access to Energy Ball, which can take a lot of Azumarill's off guard, right? So they go for the Ice Beam, and like I said, Meowstic is pretty tanky. You don't have to shield that. The reason I didn't shield that is because I don't want them to shield as well, because I want to maintain switch advantage right now. I will land the Energy Ball. That is huge right now. So I'm just going to try and confusion this Azumarill down here. I'm going to shield this up because I want to maintain switch advantage. Uh, so yeah, uh, we do block the Ice Beam there. I'm going to com com completely farm it down. Let's see what they have in the back. 
They have an Alolan Marowak in the back. So I'm just going to go straight for the Shadow Ball here. I'm really hoping they don't shield this. Now, this is pretty tough, right? Because Alolan Marowak does really well against both Victini and Alolan Raichu as well. So it's going to be pretty difficult for us. They have a bit of an energy advantage as well. So it's not great. Uh, this Alolan Marowak has potential to sweep the rest of my team here. So I'm just going to come in with Victini at this point. And I'm hoping they go for the Bone Club Shield Bait. Because if they go for Shadow Bond, it probably would one shot. But they go for Bone Club. Luckily, even though that's super effective, doesn't take us out. I'm hoping this is just another Bone Club because we can survive that. And I'm hoping that I can land a Psychic here. So I'm just going to go for the Psychic right now. This is going to do enough neutral damage to take out the Alolan Marowak from this range. Uh, but does get the shield. So immediately going to switch into my Alolan Raichu here. And hopefully I can get to a Wild Charge before they can get to a move. Unfortunately, they get to a Bone Club. So I'm going to have to shield this up because it will do quite a bit of super effective damage. And at this point, I was trying to over farm, but they're able to get to another Bone Club, right? This is really unfortunate right now because I still don't know what they have in the back. They go for the Bone Club right there, so I'm going to completely farm it down. I'm going to farm this Alolan Marowak all the way down. And then I'm just going to throw the Wild Charge at whatever is going to come out. Luckily, it's a Polytoad, right? Polytoad, because of that water typing, is going to take super effective damage. It just gets one shot by the Wild Charge there. So luckily, they had a Polytoad, honestly. If they had anything else, probably if they had a Mudboy, we could have taken care of it as well. But we had like one HP on the Raichu and uh, it, was, it was very, very close there. So... Uh, anyways, moving into the next battle here, we have uh, Victini into an Azumarill, right? Again, very bad match of this. Immediately going to save switch into my Meowstic here. But this time, they make a switch into their Ferrothorn. Now, this is very tough for us because we're they're resisting those confusions because of the gra uh, because of the steel typing. And obviously, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. It's going to do quite a bit of neutral damage, but they're going to be able to win this matchup, right? So, I'm just going to go. But I really want to maintain switch advantage, but it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here and hopefully I can get to another move, but they go for Power Whip, which is fine. I'm going to let it go through. And then I'm going to come with Victini and completely Confusion farm this uh, Ferrothorn down. So I'm going to come in with Victini here. We should be able to gain quite a bit of energy because even if they go for Power Whip, it's fine to be resisted. They're probably building up to a Thunder, but luckily we're able to farm it down. And uh, they come back with Azumarill, so I'm immediately going to switch into my Alolan Raichu here. And they're still staying in. They make a switch into their Machamp. Now this is fine, right? So I'm going to actually build up two Wild Charges. And then I'm going to shield this up because if it's Rock Slide, it would probably take us out. It's probably going to be a Cross Chop Bait, but it's fine. That still would have done a decent amount of damage there. So I'm going to over farm a little bit, throw the Wild Charge here. This is going to one-shot the Machamp, right? If it goes unshielded, let's see what they decide. They let that go through, which is fine. And they come in with that uh, uh, Azumarill, so I'm going to shield this up. So my win condition here is to basically land two, I mean, get off two Wild Charges so that hopefully I can get two shields out of them. And then I can come in with Victini and land a Psychic, right? So I'm going to go for the Wild Charge here. Uh, this is going to get the first shield from the uh, Zumro. I uh, should be able to get to the next Wild Charge right now. And then this is going to get the second shield. So I'm going to immediately switch into Victini and try and get off the Psychic, right? So I'm going to go uh, switch into Victini with like one uh, confusion away from a Psychic. Luckily, we're able to get the Psychic off. It's going to do massive neutral damage and almost comes close to taking out the Azumarill. But unfortunately, they're able to get to a Charge Move. If it's Ice Beam or Play Rough, it would be resisted, but they go for Hydro Pump. That one-shots the Victini there. But luckily, we still have Alolan Raichu and one Volt Switch takes it out there. So, once again, extremely close right there. I mean, that... <laughs> honestly, I mean, if it's it's good that we still had an... I mean, I, I saved the Alolan Raichu because if it had gone down, then it would have been pretty difficult to deal with there. So... I think we are 4-0 in this set right now. I was really hoping to finish on a high, but uh, let's see what happens. So, we have Victini into Azumarill once again. This is like three times in a row we run into an Azumarill lead. But same game plan, right? I'm going to save switch into my Meowstic here and soak up this charge move. This, this is just going to be an Ice Beam, uh, which is, uh, it's fine. We can easily tank that. And they make a switch into Altaria. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. Right? This is somewhat tough because we got hit by an Ice Beam. They're probably going to be able to farm us down here, which is not great, right? Altaria again is pretty difficult to deal with for this team and so I'm going to come in with my Victini and soak up this move right because I want to preserve the Alolan Raichu for their Azumarill and whatever they potentially have in the back so I'm going to come in with Victini here and basically soak this up it's fine Sky Attack would do quite a bit of neutral damage and hopefully I can Confusion farm this Altaria down and I'm expecting the Azumarill to come back in so I'm going to try and go for the Psychic here to hopefully get a shield or do massive neutral damage to it so just gonna go straight for the Psychic here, hopefully I can get a defense debuff as well. But they shield that, which is fine, right? So immediately gonna switch into my Alolan Raichu, we lag a little bit, but I'm able to switch in uh, right now. And they have an Alolan Marowak in the back, so this is somewhat tough right now. Uh, so I'm gonna shield this up, right, because Bone Club would do quite a bit of damage there. And my win condition here is to be, this is where I make a little bit of a mistake in this matchup. I go for the Wild Charge here, and yeah, this is probably gonna get the shield from the Alolan Marowak as it does there. And my what I should have done right now is I should have built up to two wild charges, right? I don't know why I threw it right away because I know that Azumarill has so much loaded energy. And even though we have shield advantage, uh yeah, 
I definitely need it to build up to wild charge. You'll see right now. So they go for the ice beam right now. I'm going to shield this up, and I'm really hoping that I can get to a wild charge here. But they're able to get to another ice beam. So like I said, they had so much loaded energy. I definitely needed to have a wild charge to throw at the Azumarill because Alolan and Raichu win CMP against Azumarill. I'm trying to get to a weak create here. Unfortunately, we're not able to get it in time. So even if I had landed that weak create, that probably would have come close to taking out the Azumarill. We could have had that. That was extremely close. There could have been a five and zero, very close to being a five and zero, but. Uh, with the spice team, I'll take a four and one set. Right, luckily we didn't run into uh, dark types. We did run into Azumarill and our Marowaks, but like as you saw, this team can handle that as well. So, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you want to see this type of content. I, like I said, I'll be trying this challenge out with different types as well. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.